For this piano tutorial, we'll be learning how to play Hallelujah, Salvation, and Glory by Stephen Hurd in the key of C sharp major. And this song was requested through the comment section. So if you have any song requests, feel free to leave them down below and also leave a like in the video, okay? Now, the way that we are going to approach this song is sort of following the melody of the song. I, th I think that is called voice leading. So the way that we are voicing the chords is in a way that the melody is the last note in our chord, okay? So for the first chord, we're starting with a C sharp 7 over B. And it's basically, um, the way that I think about it is I'm playing a 1 over a flat 7. So this is our first chord. And it serves sort of as a passing chord to the 6, right? And this 6 is technically a 4 over 6, right? We're playing an F sharp over B flat. So, hallelujah, right? And as you can see, like I mentioned, the melody is still the last note in our chord. Right? From F to F sharp. Now here, our next chord is technically a 5, right? But let's include some passing chords to lead up up to that five so what i do here is go from this from here to the six and from the six we're going to the two okay the reason why i'm going to the two is because the two is the secondary dominant of the five in other words the two is the five of the five so hallelujah we go to the two as a passing chord and then what I like to do to maintain the melody is play two chords with the drop two voice. And we're going to play a B flat minor to a A flat major. Okay, right? It sounds like that. Salvation, right? Something like that. But let's use, let's convert these chords into the drop two voicing. So that basically means we take C sharp, we bring it down an octave, and we do the same to a flat we take the c which is the second from the right we bring it down an octave so it sounds something like that and you can also include that grace note that i'm doing from a flat to b flat so all together hallelujah right salvation so now from here we're going to do another passing chord and we're using this passing chord to land on the three okay so salvation and glory right and glory now this passing chord that i'm using um a way that i think about forming this chord is i know that i'm landing on the three which is f so i go up a half step which is f sharp i play the minor seventh and then i play a whole step up on my right hand and i make it a major chord right an a flat major so it's an a flat over f sharp with that e which is the minor seventh okay so salvation and glory now for this three we're voicing it as a sus chord because we're going to convert this three into a different voicing that will lead up until the next chord which is a six right salvation and glory and we convert it into this three right it's a three without the bass and we include the bass you can see it's an f7 with the flat nine and it's voiced in this way an a diminished seventh and again, maintaining the melody as the last note. So. Honor. Now in honor, we land on the six. Like I said, it was our destination chord, B flat minor seven. Honor and power. Now we go to the two. Very simple. Honor and power. We can even use the one, like I just did, as a passing chord. Honor and power. Honor and power. 
Now, I also like using the four as a passing chord. Unto the Lord. Right? So, as you can see, these are the voicings. Honor and power. On. And here, you can see how it's a F sharp major six sometimes when we try to maintain the melody in this case the melody note is e flat but we're using the four as a passing chord you can see how we we develop new voicings without really thinking about them we're playing in this case uh, f sharp six nine or an, an f sharp major six right so honor honor and power unto the lord now we're on the five lord our god so here i just walked up the major scale the major scale sorry lord our god and now it repeats again okay now it's the same progression for the lord our god. the only thing that changes is it might be the melody yes the lord so as i said in the beginning the rest of the song is the same um progression the only thing that is changing is the melody so let's move on into the next section um where the altos come in so it goes something like this right the melody goes all praise it. sorry all the praises be to the king of kings and the Right? So let's incorporate the same chords into this new melody. So, oh, praises be to the kings of kings. You see how, how that this chord here? Before we did from here to here, but now we're playing sort of an open, or we added the octave to play at F7 instead of this sus chord that we did before, right? So, all praises be Right, so that's that section, that second section of the song. The same progression, but the voicings changed because we used a different melody. Okay, so let's go into the part that goes hallelujah, and then let's do the same thing again. We're using the same chords but a different melody. So here we're starting off all the way up here. Instead of playing a, a C7, C sharp seven down here. We're following that melody and playing it up here. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Right, so that's that last section of the song. I hope you guys were able to capture that through the software on the screen. All right, if you would, if you weren't able to capture it, just go back and slow down the video so you can get those chords. Okay, now what I'm going to do is play the whole song uninterrupted, slightly improvised. So forgive all of the mistakes that I may make while playing, but I hope you can capture and learn something else from this part of the video. Okay, thank you.